as yet, I see no overwhelming basis for deciding between these new medicines. You might think giving it a medicine intravenously is better, in which case you might choose eptimizumab. You might think that giving the medicine every three months was a good idea, in which case you might choose brevimizumab. You might want to give it every uh, every month and you might want to learn about it because it's also useful in cluster headache, in which case you might learn about galcanizumab. You might think you want to target the receptor and give it every month, in which case you might learn about arenumab. At the moment, happily, as long as you can learn to use one, you're going to do a lot of good. This, the GPANs, the CGRP, a small molecule receptor antagonists, have been developed as acute therapies. They'll provide uh, efficacy without vasoconstrictor downside liability and they're very well tolerated. Whether they will dovetail into the monoclonal antibodies, that is to say, if I respond to a GPANT, will I respond to an antibody? I don't know, but that's an interesting question. Uh, they certainly, um, taken together, provide um, the fascinating um, development of being able to block this pathway and have both acute and preventive effects on the same, using the same pathway, just depending on how you, how you address the mechanism.